Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Our friends over at Canon Rumors have a post up that it's time to vote for your favorite Canon gear of the year for 2017. First up is your favorite Canon camera, whether it's ILC, DSLR, or cinema camera for 2017. In other words, the ones that were introduced or available in 2017 as a new entry for that year. Uh, we've got a few. We've got the Canon EOS Rebel SL2. We've got the Canon EOS 6D Mark II. We've got the Canon EOS C200. We've got the Canon EOS M100. We've got the Canon EOS M6 and the EOS 77D and EOS T7i. So for those of you that need a little refresher on what each of those were, we have the SL2, which was a small DSLR, came usually paired with the 18-55 STM lens. Um, it's around $600, $599, which is a really good price. And it gave you a lot of the goodness you get in an AD or a T7i at a lower price point. You had the full very angle LCD. You had the ability to have the dual pixel autofocus. And uh, a lot of people were toting it as the best entry or best vlogger camera uh, for those who didn't want to spend top end bucks but still got really good quality so it's a it's a good offering a strong offering from canon next up we have the canon eos 60 mark ii most of you will know what that is that was the update to the 60 uh, it's a full frame we've gone to 24 megapixels uh, it's available with the 24 to 105 kit it's around 16.99 on average right now and uh, it's a very nice offering albeit one without 4K, which was probably my chief complaint with that. However, for photography, very nice camera and a decent price. Next up, we have the Canon EOS C200 EF. That's a cinema camera. In other words, it is a video camera, albeit a fairly high-end one. Uh, price tag here is around $7,500. Uh, it's a Super 35 CMOS sensor. It is dual pixel CMOS, te CMOS technology in there. It's got dual digit um, DV6 processors. It does have 4K DCI and UHD, so it's pretty decent uh enabled higher end video camera albeit you're paying for it with the price next up was the canon eos m100 it's just a darling of a little uh small compact mirrorless camera from canon very nice offering paired with a 15 to 45 lens about 499 is the average retail price at the moment although you may be able to find them on sale for less um, a nice little camera a nice little mirrorless camera from canon the one again caveat was i would have loved this camera if it had had 4k and it does not then we've got the eos m6 now the m6 is an interesting um character because the m6 basically takes the guts of the m5 which has an evf and puts them in an updated version of the m3 so it kind of sits between the m3 and the m5 and it's sold with the 1545 can also be sold with an 18 to 105 uh, the price on these is uh, averaging about 799 so it's a little higher up than the m1 personally i kind of like it better than the m100 that's the one i would probably choose between those two next up we have the canon eos 77d so 77d um a lot of people weren't sure where this fit in in the canon lineup in the other words should they buy an 80D? Should they buy a 77D? What about the older 70D? And then what about a T7i? It's kind of a mixed bag. Um, for $749, which is the average going price, uh, it's a very nice camera. And I've kind of changed my thoughts on it that I wouldn't be opposed to anybody picking this up instead of an 80D. I would probably still go with an 80D, but the 77D is, is a nice offering. Um, I just find it interesting that Canon's kind of... Um, putting something so close it's it's there's not a lot differentiating it between the t7i and the 80d um so it's 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 kind of adding extra cameras to the lineup that perhaps did not need to be there but still nonetheless a very nice camera for the price uh, and we still haven't seen an update to the 80d so perhaps and for some people the 77 might be better the t7i uh 799 so that is in comparison to um, the 77D's body only at 749. Uh, the T7i with an 18 to 55 IS STM kit lens goes for about 799. Really nice camera. You're missing some of the extra command dials and more pro body layout of what you would get in an 80D, for instance, and higher up cameras. But still, the Rebel series and these. 
the T lineup has been very popular and it's a decent offering for this price and what it what it offers you with the dual pixel focus. There is no 4K but decent 1080 with dual pixel focus and gets you into the Canon environment, the Canon lens system and very nice 24 megapixel sensor. So that being said and having gone through the various options here that came out for 2017, my choice, what would my choice be? I am leaning towards either the M6 or the 77D. And that's a tough call. And I'd say for a runner-up for me, the SL2, if I had to make my decision right now, if you're making me choose, I'm going to go with the 77D because it is a little newer than the 80D. It's a very nice offering at a very nice price point. Runner-up to that would be the M6, and the third-place finisher for me would be the SL2. But now I want to throw it back to you guys. Out of all those cameras we've just looked at, which one is your choice for the Canon favorite gear, favorite camera of the year for 2017? Would it be the SL2, the 6D Mark II, the C200, the M100, the M6, the 77D, or the T7i? Let us know in the comments below. Which one would you choose for your favorite Canon camera, new Canon camera of the year for 2017? What would be your choice and why? Let's talk about it. Let's flush it out. I'm just curious to see what you guys have to say. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.